today I'm bringing you a planner video. That's right, I just recently bought a happy planner and I uh, thought I would share with you quite a bit of DIYs if you want. I could do a little flip through, plan with me. I don't know, comment down below what videos you'd like to see, but I am just absolutely pleased with this planner. Uh, I just love the inside, the gold foiled pages and stuff. Ugh, I just love, love, love it. And I love how you, rub. <laughs> I love how you can remove things from it because I think it's just so handy and so unique and I don't know, I just personally love it. Anyway, so today I am going to be showing you how to make a dashboard. So you'll be needing some kind of paper uh, from the planner that fits. I'm, in this case, I'm using these folders that I bought as an extension pack to my uh, like you know planner and I'm using this table mat that I actually got from the dollar store which is odd I don't know it's it, I don't know I think it's weird it's like this mini one it's cute it's, it's pretty sturdy and we're gonna use that to make our little dashboard I ended up making quite a few others with like different kinds of materials and stuff just because I wanted a clear one and I had washi tape if you're interested in seeing that I could totally share that with you guys if you would like but yeah, um, I'm just here measuring out just so I could get like the perfect size and stuff and labeling it with my pencil. Anyways, um, sorry like my DIYs are not like your traditional DIYs. I don't know. It's, I just like rambling because the video kind of explains most of the things because I don't crop, like crop, cut out many clips from the video. So yeah, I'll just put things in here and there where I think are necessary, but other than that, these are usually just videos of me rambling and rambling and rambling and rambling and rambling and rambling blah 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 <laughs> Anyways, now I'm just using my little cutter cutter thingy. Uh, that's right, I called it a cutter cutter thingy to cut my paper. And actually, um, the cutter kind of shifted, like, I don't know, I don't know if you'll actually see it. Like, I noticed this, like, way after I cut the paper, though. So yeah, it was weird, like, it kind of shifted ever so slightly, so it wasn't like a perfect cut, but I think it was in the portion that was in the bottom that I was gonna cut off anyhow. So yeah, here I'm just kind of cutting it, um, just so I can, you know, make sure that it's gonna be the right dimensions. But yeah, I actually, okay, so when I got this planner, I was like, yay, planner, but then I'm like, hmm, this is not as personal as I wanted it to get. You know, I just wanted a little bit more things in it that made it seem more like me because, you know, a lot of things were just set about it. And that's one of the beauties about planning, you know, you just kind of make something that works for you, fits for you, just fits your lifestyle, how you like things. So see, I see, I'm just kind of adjusting it because I kept sliding. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted something that I liked. So after making this video, I actually proceeded to make several other things. Like, I mean, several other things. There was like, I just, I went crazy making things for my planner because I just thought it was so fun and I loved how customized everything looked and bah, I just loved it. Anyways, so right off screen, I'm actually rounding the corners. I don't know why I did not do that under the camera, but I was doing it off. I'm sorry the background is black. If you'd like, I'll try to like make it white. I do have this roller paper. Anyways, if you'd like a white background, just tell me peeps and I'll take care of it. Um, sorry, also for that big glare in the middle. If the paper, I bet if the background was white, it would probably not be that bad, but anyways. But anyways, <laughs> oh, there I am running the corners on the screen. So, yeah, uh, I what is that actually? I don't know what that little thing is that I'm. Oh, I was using scrap. Okay, okay. Out for some. I was confused for a second. Uh, anyways, so yeah, here I am. I'm just rounding the corners by cutting it on already previously rounded thingy because as you could see, these are already rounded. So yeah, I just am rounding over it uh, just so they could all be rounded because I don't know. I like that it looks better. Anyways. So here it is, it's all rounded and nice and stuck together. So next step, you're going to want to puncture the holes and make the slits. So I'm pretty sure I just I just used a paper that, um, well, since I I'm not using this in July, um, this started with July, I'm, I'm here I'm using the folder, but I later on um, ended up just using the paper. I don't know if I do it in this video, but like as I continued making more things, I just used the paper because I didn't want to damage the folder. The paper was already done with, it wouldn't have been visible, so I'm just going to be using the folder. And, okay, I made a massive mistake, you guys. So when I was punching my holes, they weren't all even, I mean like, they weren't all vertically even. Like some of them were more to the right, more to the left, and the reason for that was because I just put a dot to mark where my holes were. As you will see, I just put like a dot. Instead, okay, so what I recommend doing is actually tracing the arc and lining up your hole right 
by the arc you drew that way they're all like even vertically like they're all in the right place vertically and they're not just left and right shifty shifty everywhere because that just doesn't look as good it doesn't look as professional it doesn't fit comfortably and actually I ended up cutting off a piece cutting off all the holes that I made I cut them all off and I just repunched it was shorter but that was okay it didn't have to cover up the entire page for me I was fine with it being slightly shorter that for me was okay so yeah, I just ended up going back in and I just cut off the part with the ruined wonky holes and I just repunched them all, we rounded the corners and it was good to go. Also, for the slits, I recommend tracing um, or just cutting the slits with a template over it because, I don't know, the slits, I feel like if they're not, if they're not similar to the ones that are already in the planner, they just don't fit as nicely, like not the way I would like them to. But yeah, see, I tried to make them all even, but they all were not. <laughs> so I just recommend drawing a little arc and punching on the arc. Um, it's slightly more tedious. Like, it'll take, like, two seconds longer than just putting a little dot in the middle. You know what I mean? So yeah, I just, I can proceed it. And then here I'm going to show you that you have to cut the slits. But the slits, as I said earlier, were not all even. Some of them were too skinny. Some of them were too thick. And you want the slits to look good. So just put a paper over it and cut that way. It won't take you any longer. It's just going to give you a better result for nothing more. And just use one of your old planner pages, you know. Just use an old one. that A week that has already been used. And if you are buying this um, right in the beginning of July, since that's when it starts and there's no unused ones, then, I don't know, just use one that isn't used. Then I guess I'll just be a bit more careful with it. But I, I don't trust myself enough to do that. And I am for sure that the slits that I have are a little bit off. I, I'm pretty sure I shaped off like a, a teensy weensy little pit. Pit? Pit? What? A teensy weensy little piece. Okay. <laughs> I'm, yeah. Sorry, guys. So, yeah. Um, I just did that. And I, okay, don't cut the slits. Like, if when you cut, just cut under like put the scissor over the paper if that makes any sense anyways so I cut all the slits and now I'm going to be placing it into my planner as you can see my name is not even on it because I ha I think I got this the day of when I was filming this like I just got it that day and I was so so excited to just film a video with it and just ah uh, share with you guys because I love my planner to bits and pieces and I've made all sorts of things and I do plan to show you videos of all these things I don't know I'm just so excited see I I did not like I was adjusting the slits that's why I took it out again here I am just like adjusting these slits and stuff because they weren't all even and that made me sad anyhow I just ended up fixing the slits and as I said off camera after I finished filming this I did cut off all those holes reround the corners and repunch those holes but it wasn't perfect on the page and that didn't bug me anyhow i'm just happy with this how this came out and yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell me what videos you want to see tell me if you like this tell me if you don't just give me feedback anywho's i love you guys and i will see you guys next time Bye bye